What's going on everyone, it's Justin here, and today I've got another Best Budget Tech episode under $10 and $20, which is very fitting for the back to school season, which is actually coming up faster than you might think, because we're gonna be highlighting products that are good for everyday use, general utilities, and whether you're a student or not, these are just generally useful tech items that you can add to your daily routine. And I'm also gonna be giving away all the items in this video, so just make sure you go ahead and drop a thumbs up on this video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below as to what your favorite item is and also leave your Instagram username because I'll be picking a winner in the comments section in one month to win all the products featured. So as we get near the back to school season, I'm sure some people will be picking up some new phones for that school year. So the first thing you've got to do is protect it. And I recently had to replace my Apple iPhone case and that was just way too expensive for what it was, but I was very used to it over the years. This is a magnetic iPhone 13 case and whether you have the iPhone 13 or the iPhone 13 Pro, there are a few characteristics that I really like about it at the price of just about $20. Not only does it have a nice soft touch finish and at the same time, it gives you like a nice grippy feel to it but there's also a very good cutout around the camera that is ridged and layered while also bringing you some space between the actual lens element so when you place it down on the desk there's no lens contact on the surface but beyond that it is a really good looking case especially in the smoked finish you've got like the MagSafe uh, indicator right here and it is compatible with MagSafe and Qi wireless chargers but on the side you can see it has like that darker border that reminds me a lot of the bumper cases that I used to have and the buttons are also extremely tactile. It actually has a specific cutout for it so the buttons don't feel mushy at all. They are actually their separate element. And on the bottom, you have your cutout right here, which I mean, for most cases should be okay, but sometimes I do like to have a fully open bottom to be able to plug things in a lot easier, especially if you have a larger cable. So if your laptop doesn't have a built-in full-size HDMI cable and you're looking for an easy way to connect it to a monitor, then this is an accessory that I cannot pronounce. I think it's called like the q -game. And it comes at a price of about $14 and you're able to just plug it into your computer and it's able to output a 4K 30 hertz resolution. I would say that the quality of this is really nice. There are a few detailed elements, including gold plating. There's also a nice small chamfer around the different finishes and around the edges, which is not really necessary for this accessory. But at the same time, the cable is also braided and I like how the length of it is very, very portable. So you're able to bring it around with you everywhere. And for the price, it is a great value. So if you just picked up a new laptop for the back to school season and are looking for a leather case, then this right here is called the Comfiable. You get what you need in terms of the leather case, but you do have to deal with the name that I think is pretty stupid and it's printed on the front here, but it's a pretty solid case. It is not the best leather material or genuine leather material that you would expect out of higher end options, but those can range $100, $200, and I've even seen higher than that. So at the price point, it not only has a nice fur padded interior that is very good in terms of protection protecting the laptop and ensuring it is always cozy inside this comfortable case at all times. But it also has a nice zipper on the top. And yeah, I mean, there's not really much to say about this in particular, but this model that I have right here is able to fit the MacBook Pro 14 inch very easily. And I can't say that about every 13 inch laptop case that I've tried it with. The MacBook Pro 14 inch is definitely just a little bit thicker. So I would say with this case, you're able to fit like a small book. I always like the laptop cases that have a little bit of room inside to be able to fit an SSD, maybe some USB sticks, uh, pencils, and maybe a notebook as well. So yeah, I'd say like for the price, this is probably one of the best values that I found when it comes to a laptop case for its price point. So as someone who has a lot of tech, I can never have enough cables, especially when everyone in the office steals them or I leave them at hotels. You can kind of fix that problem by buying a lot more than you might need. And here's a pack that comes in at a price of under $20 for two MFI certified cables. You can get them in USB type A or USB type C, but it is a braided cable, which after trying all different types of cable is probably my favorite kind in terms of the durability. Whether you have it in your car or by your bedside, it is actually rated for up to 40,000 bends. And you can also see the hinges are all very nicely reinforced because these are usually the areas where the cables break. It comes in at a standard length of six feet. And so if you just want to have one in multiple areas of your house, this is probably the cheapest way to do it. So I know we've checked out a fair share of Bluetooth speakers during the summer, but the common trend of that is that they were priced around two to $300. And although those can be great speakers, if you're looking for the best, if you're looking for something that just gets a job done to throw in your backpack and it's relatively portable, 
This right here is a Sound Nova N6 portable Bluetooth speaker. First off, when it comes to design, I love how the volume control is very large and placed right in the middle. On top of that, you have all of your different controls on the top, including the power button, the play pause, and the skip. And you actually have all of your different inputs concealed nicely on the top here for USB type A, micro USB, and 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input. What I don't like about it is that there isn't a USB type C. So if you're willing to deal with the USB micro, then I guess it is overall a good value because from a design standpoint, I think they've done an excellent job. I love it whenever a speaker has a string because you're able to just go ahead and tie it to your backpack or take it around with you very easily. And I also love the fact that it has a 360 degree design, but it has like a nice nylon finish that you also find on the Ultimate Ears line that also emulates the 360 degree design, which I would say is probably the best overall when it comes to delivering a ton of power in a portable form factor. It is a 10 watt full range speaker. It has a 2000 milliamp hour battery that is able to give you up to 12 hours of playback time. And on top of that, as an IP65 water resistant rating. For the price of around $25 at the time of purchase, it is a pretty good value. But if you're willing to spend, say, double even, then you can get a really good speaker from Anchor, who have been developing their Soundcore line for many years to have much better audio quality. But if you're looking to save some money and like the form factor of the Sound Nova N6, I think it's a very efficient design that well utilizes its size while being very portable and still having all the great features. So with any of these budget tech episodes, I've started to integrate a lot of software as well. I believe in a previous episode, we talked about Evernote as well as Milanote, but the one that I use the most of all, and it's actually free at the start and relatively cheap, even if you purchase a personal plan, is Notion. And especially with the back to school season, it is one of the best all-in-one tools that a student can have because I've actually been using Notion since I was a student. And as I transitioned into a full-time business, it has been the central hub of my entire business. I have all my different deadlines, campaigns, schedules, and information on Notion, and it's all color-coded, organized, and also formulated to have the sum of everything exactly the way that I would like, and it's essentially like a central hub of my entire life. We literally could not operate without it because all of our information is there. For any students out there, Notion is really the perfect all-in-one workspace to organize your personal life as well as your school life to be able to manage all the projects that you might have, information of different deadlines and also taking notes of different assignments and classes and be able to organize and reference that information very easily. It is actually 100% free for students and educators. So just go ahead and sign up with your school email to get instant access to the personal pro plan features. You guys have probably heard me talk about Notion a lot and I've been a big fan of it for a while. So if you want to check it out, I'm going to drop a link down below. So before we move on, I wanna give a huge thanks to the sponsor of this video, Liquid IV. And it's actually something that I've wanted to try for a while because I've heard great things about it because I honestly just drink water throughout the day. And essentially what Liquid IV is, is a hydration multiplier. It is an electrolyte mix that gives you a 2x faster hydration than water alone. And it also contains three times the amount of electrolytes compared to traditional sports drinks. It is based on cellular transport technology designed to enhance the rapid absorption of water and key ingredients. And in front of me, I've got a few great flavors to try out, including the yuzu pineapple and the golden cherry. It comes in little packets like this and you just go ahead and add it to your water and it's ready to go. And here are some great scenarios of where I enjoy liquid IV. So if you guys have been watching your videos for the last few months or follow me on Instagram, you know that there's been a ton of travel. And one of the biggest things about travel is that it's easy to get dehydrated. And with the amount of walking and the heat during the summer, it is always important to have a good level of hydration because there are a ton of back-to-back -back trips with a very heavy workload as well. So being able to carry these packets while traveling is very handy and it comes in 13 great flavors. So if you guys want to go and try out these best-selling hydration multiplying flavors, go ahead and check out Liquid IV and use my code JUSTINSAFE for free shipping and 15% off. And the link is going to be in the description as well. So you can never have enough chargers and there are a ton of offerings on the market and this one right here is from Ugreen. It comes in at a price point of $15 and it has two USB type C ports. But most importantly, it is able to get that charging speed of 40 watts, which is able to charge your phone at a very fast pace. So whether you have like an iPhone 13 or an Android phone, just go ahead and plug it in and the driver and the passenger has their own USB ports to be able to take advantage of that fast charging speed because traditionally I found 
found that car chargers are relatively slow. It has a nice metal finish to it, but as you know from Ugreen's gallium nitrate lineup of some of their wall chargers, which we've checked out a ton of at different voltages, this has a lot of intelligent power management inside the chip that offers over temperature, over voltage, over charging, and over current protection to always ensure that your phone is getting the maximum charge and speed, but at the same time ensure the safety of the device in the long run. So this accessory right here is for anyone who likes to read, maybe have a textbook, and it's also able to double as a bookmark, but most importantly, it's just a very nice little reading light that you're able to clip onto the book, adjust the lighting brightness and the temperature, and also rotate it accordingly. It is a rechargeable light that comes in at a price of $11.99, and it's able to last eight hours on a given charge. Just press the button right here to turn the light on, and off and is at a 3000 Kelvin, which is very comfortable and easy on the eyes. And yeah, just, I mean, it's very self-explanatory. You just rotate it accordingly to the area of the book that you're reading. And from there, you're good to go. If you wanna keep the page that you're on, just go ahead and clip it on that. Uh, I know this is like a bit of a smaller book, but there you have it. And again, it just stays out of the way very nicely. And for any student, I think this is one of the essentials that you've gotta have. So this next product right here comes in just around 20 bucks and it is the 3M keyboard wrist rest. When it comes to ergonomics and desk setup accessories, there are a ton of options out there as to how you can improve your desk setup. There are trays, there are wrist rests, and recently we've also checked out a palm rest for your mouse. But if you're at your keyboard a lot, then having a nice gel wrist rest is one of the best accessories that you can get. It has a nice cool touch to it and a solid leather finish, but it just sits at the base of your desk. And as you're typing throughout the day, it provides great support for the palm in a very ergonomic position. This one is relatively large because it actually spans beyond the size of a keyboard with a numeric pad. So the only drawback I would say of this one is that it's just a little bit too big and I would have liked to have seen a more compact version that just covers the core area of a regular keyboard. But there's not really much to say about it. The gel finish is really, really nice. It has a good feel to it while giving you enough support while being soft to the touch. And there's also an antimicrobial finish that makes it very easy to clean. And I love how it also has a nice grip bottom so it doesn't slide around all over the desk while you're trying to type. So if you're looking for a good desk mat, this one right here is one from Logitech that comes in at a price of $20. You're able to just roll it out in your desk and I would say it's a pretty good size of not being too large but being able to accommodate your keyboard and your mouse. It has a nice soft touch and spill resistant surface but I wouldn't recommend spilling much on this material because over time it will definitely stay and if you're someone who spills things on your desk all the time then I'd probably recommend getting a leather desk mat but I would say that for a nice soft touch and for the best surface of your mouse to be able to glide on or maybe you do a little bit of gaming this type of desk mat is probably your best bet. It's available in mid gray, dark rose, and also lavender finish, and this right here is the mid gray. Being a Logitech product, of course the quality is going to be solid, and the edging is all pretty well done, and there's also a grip on the bottom. You can of course find similar alternatives for even less than $20, but if you're willing to spend just a little bit more money while still being in the budget price category, then this is a great recommendation that I have. So this next product right here is the EBL 8-Bay Battery Charger. And if you're someone who loves tech, maybe have some remotes laying around, or in general are always in need of batteries, instead of having to dispose them, you can go ahead and pick up an 8-Bay Battery Charger that has rechargeable batteries included, and it comes in at a price point of just around $25. You can go ahead and plug it in right here and just keep it in the area of your charging station, but whenever you need a battery, just go ahead and grab it from here, and it has AAA and AA included, which is nice to have that variety and choice, but it does have a dual base setup, which allows you to have your AA or AAA charging at any point of a given time. So I like that multi-purpose aspect. It also has some LED indicators on the front here, and it's able to charge up to 1200 cycles. It also has improved heat dissipation and overheat as well as overcharge protection. So if you guys have been watching the channel, you might know that right now I'm working on a renovation of my new condo, which has a large outdoor terrace. And one of the most important aspects is to be able to bring the tech from the inside into the outside as well. And this right here is a Miros outdoor plug that comes in at a price of just about $20. And the most important aspect of it is that it is weather resistant. It has an IP44 waterproof housing, and it's ideal for having in your garden, maybe at your barbecue and stuff, and being able to expand the number of ports while 
being able to control it with the press of a button is really nice, but the key feature as to why you're going to want to have this is that it is also a Wi-Fi plug. So in the case of the condo, this plug is gonna be located close enough to be able to connect to the home Wi-Fi. So if I have anything outside that I want to control automatically, whether it's a set of lights, maybe some speakers, or just any other tech product that you might have uh, plugged into this, then you can control it from your smartphone using the Miros app. And we've actually checked out a lot of other Miros products recently that were at a relatively budget price point and have been my go-to recommendation for smart plugs. And you can add to the ecosystem and control everything from the Miros app in one. It is also compatible with Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant, so you can control it via the voice controls or the sequences that you have set up within each home system. But otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching this Best Tech episode. And if you enjoyed it, make sure you go ahead and drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and let me know what your favorite product is. Because as I said, I'm giving away all these items. And let me know what other guides you'd like for the back to school season or budget tech moving forward. And I'll see you all in the next one.